As a distributor, we're much like a car dealer. Uh, we bring in the new buses from the factory. We uh, do a pre-delivery service. We inspect them. We put add-on equipment, cameras, radios, uh, tire chains, various equipment that the schools need to meet their individual specifications. And then we deliver them to the school and, and normally then bring back a trade in. In addition to the school bus market, we also farm. Uh, we run several hundred acres with cattle and, and grain farming and uh, anything that we can do to, to protect the environment because of the farming operation we've learned to, to be uh, caretakers of our, our land and soil and, and the same thing with the green energy and reusable energy sustainability is, is the big thing today. The United States is one of the largest producers of, of natural gas and oil and Ohio uh, Western Ohio and Eastern Pennsylvania has uh, the largest or the second largest uh, supply of natural gas with a Utica shale. They're growing the infrastructure. Uh, a, lot, a lot of schools are going out uh, working with Clean Fuels Ohio, getting grants. There's a, a very large interest from the, uh, the public in the schools to go towards the clean, cleaner fuels, the alternative fuels with Kent Press Natural Gas leading the way. We absolutely love the way these buses drive. Um, it's a smoother transition. They're more quiet. There's less emission pollution, which does this part in cutting down on the health risks to our community, our students, and of course the drivers. I know a lot of people are worried about these buses being natural gas, but these buses are equipped with an emergency shut off. Plus, natural gas is lighter in the air, so there will be no combustion. We were actually inspired by some of our students in a project they did to look at alternative fuel sources for our school buses. We were able, with the help of Clean Fuels Ohio, to secure a diesel emission reductions grant uh, to buy these four uh, natural gas buses that you see behind me. CNG uh, is a cleaner running fuel, uh, about 20% fewer emissions, and they are more fuel efficient. At the time, when we first applied for the grant, the cost of diesel was almost $4 a gallon versus about half that for natural gas. So we, uh, we anticipated a lot of savings on fuel. Now, of course, diesel fuel has come down quite a bit in, in costs, but uh, we still see uh, greater uh, emissions reductions. Uh, we see uh, savings on uh, maintenance, uh, long-term maintenance. Because of the grant, we got four buses for about the cost of one diesel bus. So um, it's uh, been a great uh, value for us and uh, we're excited to have them on the road and uh, we hope to expand the fleet of natural gas in the future.